ISTQB Foundation Level Question 205 During a project following Agile methods, you find a discrepancy between the developer's interpretation of acceptance criteria and the product owner's interpretation, which you bring up during a user story refinement session. Which of the following is a benefit of test independence exemplified by this situation? A. Recognizing different kinds of failures. B. Taking primary responsibility for quality. C. Removing a defect early. D. Challenging stakeholder assumptions. Take a moment to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to don't miss new ICQB questions and answers that will help you guaranteed enhancing your skills. Join us on this learning journey. If you find value in that I do and my videos help you, then you have the option to donate through the links in the video description to I can release new videos on ISTQB questions on a regular basis. Correct answer is D, according to ISTQB syllabus. Challenging stakeholder assumptions is a benefit of tester independence. And here the developer and product owner are both assuming different things about the acceptance criteria. All the rest of the answers are wrong. Answer A is incorrect. While recognizing different kinds of failures is a benefit of tester independence, in the scenario here no code yet exists that can fail, and the problem is that the developer and product owner are both assuming different things about the acceptance criteria. Answer B is incorrect. Developers losing sense of responsibility for quality is a drawback, not a benefit. Answer C is incorrect. While the effect of the discovery of this disagreement is the earlier removal of the defect. Prior to coding, defects can be discovered earlier by various people, not just independent testers. Explanation. Finally, let's look at the section 1.5.3 Independence of testing in the ISTQB syllabus, where we can see that an independent tester can verify, challenge or disprove assumptions made by stakeholders during specification and implementation of the system. This is consistent with the correct answer D. I am entirely sure you will definitely pass the ISTQB foundation level exam with flying colors. Never give up.